of products of their environment. And and mm. then in some cases, um, it's a means of survival. And I don't, you know, I, I'm saying I live, you know, outside of Chicago. So I'm, mm. I'm in my little suburban life where, you know, the gang members that we have to deal with are the wildlife, you know, the squirrels and the raccoons tearing <laughs> up our garbage cans. You know, we don't really have to oh, think about you know the other stuff that maybe in you know inner city Chicago what they're dealing with but then um I've had you know instances you know I still I still have friends I still have relatives who live mm -hmm. actually in Chicago in some of these disadvantaged neighborhoods um and I see the stuff that goes on and you know sometimes I get frustrated mm -hmm. um several years ago Actually, let me see. My son is 10. So about 10 years ago, I was working with a nonprofit and we were working at a school that was in, well, you know, there's gentrification happening now in Chicago. But mm. prior to the gentrification, it was in one of um, the poor neighborhoods in Chicago. And these these young kids who, you know, were. I can't even say they were starting out life where I'm talking fifth graders, you mm -hmm. know, the things that they knew and that they were involved in at fifth grade at the fifth grade level. Wow. It was just mind blowing. Like, you know, fifth graders like strung out, strung out on drugs. Rip. Fifth, wow. Fifth graders in, in, engaged in orgies, you know, fifth graders, <sighs> Being, bringing drugs to school. And I'm not talking, you know, marijuana. I'm not talking, you know, we were teenagers. We, you know, we <clears throat> experimented where, you know, we take a sip of beer and, you know, we're drunk. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, these were like kids that were like deep, deep in, like addicted to the point where they suffer withdrawals if they didn't get their fix. And it's like, at wow. fifth grade, I couldn't fathom you know, living that kind of lifestyle in fifth grade. But for them, that's normal, you know? And how can you not, you know, feel sympathetic towards that? But then on mm. the flip side, it's kind of like, okay, I'm sympathetic towards the kids and I'm enraged at the adults because yeah, the yes. adults are teaching kids, you know, and this is why this is their new normal. Yeah, I, um, I definitely feel you on that. I feel yeah, you on that. I mean, but then when you see the stupid stuff, you know, like I, I'm bring it up, but uh, you know, they they had the PPP scam mm -hmm. for the pandemic, and I I tell you, I was like, I was so enraged at the stuff that I was seeing. You know, they're yeah. on social media bragging, you know, that they just got this money. And, you know, for me as a business owner, you know, when I was starting out several years ago, like I wish that I had exactly you know, some seed money to kind of <laughs> give me a head start. It's like, OK, right. we had to bootstrap. You guys had an mm -hmm. opportunity, not that I'm condoning, you know, what they done, what they did, but you had an opportunity where you had this cash, you know, and it was for business owners. Why not get the, the cash and just start the business? Right. You yeah, know, yeah. Invest the money, even if it was ill gotten gains, invest the money in something that's going to bring you more money. And yeah. it just didn't happen. You know, they're buying designer that they can't even spell. It's like, yeah, it's such a waste. And then, you know, you know that nothing is free. And right. it's like, if it's too good, to, if it sounds too good to be true, then it probably mm -hmm. is. So since when is the government just handing out free money like this? You know, and I think now that, you know, it's catching up to them. They're, they're learning that. Um, so when, when you look at stuff like that, you know, you get angry. But then when I see like, you know, cases of pr police brutality and stuff like that, then it's like. You know, I don't know. I don't know which side to be on. You know, mm. one day I'm on this side, the other day I'm on the other side of the fence. So, 
Yeah, I, um, when it comes to, to the, the stupidity and the youth and the adults in the room, I yeah. get enraged at it all because it's like the adults are not teaching. Mm -hmm. The kids are not learning. Mm -hmm. they, they're, they're not taking accountability anywhere. And it's like nobody sits back and says, I don't want to be like that. Because, um, you know, I grew up watching everybody get high, everybody get drunk, everybody having orgies and this, that, and other. And I said, that is not going to be me. So I, I get some people just, they just have it hard and they can't make it out. But, you know, a lot of the people that I see, it's like, I don't even understand what your issue is because, you know, you have the ability, but you just choose not to. And mm -hmm. you, and, and, and it's like that crab is in a bucket mentality is such a magnet for so many. It's like, at what point do y'all just say, that's not going to be me and stop following mm -hmm. what you see on YouTube and, and, and in the streets and stuff like that? Because it's like, I don't get it. I don't get it. And I, th I think that's the confusion for me. Like, I, I can't, you know, my, my parents did pretty well for themselves. So, you know, I, I, I had the, the shelter childhood. I can't say that, you know, I got it out the mud and all that other mm -hmm. stuff because, you know, that, that wasn't. I, I went to private school and, you know, all mm -hmm. that other stuff. Um, but <sighs> when I'm looking at, you know, people who have had to grow up in poverty, mm -hmm. you know, where utilities were cut off or they didn't have food and, you know, different things like that, then... I think the same way you think like, okay, if this is the struggle that you had growing up and you know how hard it was, why would you want that for your child? Or right. once you have an opportunity to get out of it, why wouldn't you take advantage of it? Yeah. And I have, um, you know, some family members who had um, some, some hard times growing up and all of them, well, I don't want to say all of them, the blanket statement, most of them, <laughs> most of them, you know, took that setback and mm -hmm. used it as the motivation to do better for themselves. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now they're doing well for themselves. You know, they have children, you know, they're doing good for their children. Their children have grown up. You know, it's kind of like, at what point do you say, you know, I'm going to break the cycle. This cycle right. ends with me, mm -hmm. but to, to perpetuate it, it's, it's just like, what are you doing? What are you thinking? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Why aren't you thinking at that point? Yeah. 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 You know, and I, I'm just like, especially now that, you know, social media gives us an opportunity to somewhat be voyeurs. Mm -hmm. We can, you know, we get a bird's eye view into other folks' lives and see yeah. how other people live. And mm -hmm. if you're looking at other people and this isn't your reality, nobody is doing anything that somebody else isn't capable of doing. So right. why aren't you <laughs> trying to figure out, you know, how they got to where they are exactly. or maybe connect with somebody who could, you know, point you in the right direction or give you a, you know, a hand up so that you can get to, you know, a better place in life. And we're, we're just, we're, our focus is all wrong yeah, in, in, in a lot of cases. Definitely. And I, if it doesn't make sense to me, <laughs> it doesn't make sense at all. So let me, um, so one of your things was, uh, uh, women's rights, uh, and you yeah. mentioned reproductive rights. And and we all know this Roe versus Wade being overturned is a hot thing. <sighs> um, yes. My thing first and foremost, because I put something on Facebook and somebody went way left, way right with it. And I'm like, uh -huh. are you not reading what I'm saying? I'm all for women's rights. Um, uh -huh. My issue is this Roe versus Wade being overturned. It does not apply to a lot of people. And, and what I mean by that is the irresponsible people out there who are just doing whatever with whoever, for me, Roe versus Wade doesn't apply to them. Now, if you are, you know, mishandled as a woman, as a girl, or, or 
you have health reasons or whatever 